The movie opens up with a boy named Jake Tyler, who helps his high school football team win an important game. A frustrated player from the opposing team makes taunts about Jake's father, who died while driving drunk. Infamously hot-tempered Jake starts a brawl. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> Spectators capture the brawl with mobile phones and video cameras. Soon, the brawl is uploaded to YouTube. After the match, his friend asks if he is gonna be able to hang out later, but Jake tells him that they are moving to another city, so he is going to be busy with packing. Jake lives with his mother and his younger brother. His family is moving to Florida, because his younger brother Charlie has gotten a scholarship there. Charlie is a very talented tennis player. The next day, while packing, Charlie drops a suitcase, and from that suitcase, they find one of his father's shirts. Seeing that shirt, Jake is reminded of his late father. He is angry at his father, because the day his father died, he was with him in the car. His father was really drunk, so Jake offered to let him drive, but he did not agree, and continued to drive drunk. They got into an accident, and his father died. Jake blames himself for his father's death, as he thinks that if he had driven the car that day, his father would still have been with them. This drunk driving accident is also the subject of taunting from his other classmates. So Jake writes useless stuff on his father's box. After moving to the new city, he joins a new school, and when he is in the backyard of his school, he finds a student named Max being badly beaten up by some other students, he tries to let it go, but ends up moving forward to save the boy, but when he tries to intervene, he is told off by Max and his friends, as the bullying was actually a semi-sanctioned mixed martial arts fight. There is a girl named Ba in Jake's class. During the class, Ba is asked a question that she is unable to answer, and then Jake goes on to answer the same question. The two talk after the class is over, and Jake ends up developing a crush on the girl. The next day at school, Max comes to him, they start talking, and Max tells him about one of his videos going viral in the school. He now has a rising reputation with the students of his new school, due to the internet video of him when he was a football player at his previous school, fighting with a frustrated opponent, who made derogatory remarks about his father. Jake is now famous in his new school, as everyone has watched that video. The girls know him as a figure of aggression now. One day after school, when Jake is headed home, he runs into Baja, who invites him to a party that evening. He gets ready and goes to the party at Ryan's place, Ryan is also their classmate. Ryan is a really popular boy in his school, as he is the MMA champion there, and also Baja's boyfriend. Ryan welcomes Jake into his home, and when all of them make the square, he challenges Jake to a fight. Ryan is a good fighter, and he always wants to be the best at what he does. Everyone at the party is really excited to see them fight. Initially refusing to fight, Jake readily agrees to fight Ryan when he makes fun of his father's death. As the fight begins, Ryan has an upper hand, and goes on to beat the shit out of Jake throughout the fight. The fight is filmed and posted online, becoming a cause of humiliation for Jake at his school. He goes home with blood and bruises on his face, and his brother sees him. He tells Charlie not to tell their mother about it. Charlie says that he does not need to tell her, because she is going to see his face for herself. After this incident, Jake stops going to school. Max comes to see him at his house and suggests he start training, and even offers to take him to the coach he himself trains with. Jake agrees, and Max takes him to the fighting club, where he trains with a man named Gene Roqua. It is revealed that Roqua himself was a great fighter in his time. He allows Jake to join the club. After that, Ba goes to Jake's house to see him, because he has not been going to school for days now. He is however angry at Baha, because she invited him to that party just to set up a fight against her boyfriend, and now Jake has lost that fight and been humiliated. She however tells him that she did not know things would go down that road. Jake's instructor starts to train him and he tells him that he is very strict when it comes to discipline and rules. He has a rule that forbids his students to fight outside the club. Roqua tells Jake that if he gets into a fight outside his club, he will be expelled from his club. Jake agrees, and when he gets home that night, his mother asks him about the money he withdrew from their account. He tells her that he has joined a fighting club, but it does not sit well with his mother, because she does not want him to get into the fighting business. She is angry at him, but he is now adamant and continues to train with his instructor.
His instructor used to be a great fighter, but deep down, he seems very unsatisfied and sad. However, he does not share his grief with anyone. Jake finally goes to school, but he still ignores Baja, but she wants to get close to him. She tries to make amends with him, by apologizing for her role in the fight between him and Ryan, but Jake refuses to forgive her. When Ryan shows no remorse for his fight with Jake or his sadistic tendencies, Baja breaks up with him, to which Ryan responds by aggressively grabbing her. When Jake tries to intervene to protect Baja, Ryan insults him about his father again and leaves. At practice, Jake is still furious over what happened and is told by Roqua to leave the gym until he cools off. Riding back from the gym with Max, he stops the car on the road and ends up getting into a road rage brawl with a group of men. Jake beats a group of men very badly and Max films the video, the video circulates around the school and raises Jake's social status. Jake is famous at his school yet again, but Ryan is not happy about it at all. When he has had enough of it, he decides that he is just not going to sit back, while Jake hogs all the attention. He goes on to corner Jake in the bathroom and beats him up, while he challenges him to compete in the beatdown, which is an underground fighting tournament, and Ryan is the reigning champion. Jake goes to Max and asks him about the beatdown, who tells him everything there is to know about it, and makes Jake understand what it's about. A lot of big fighters come to fight there, and the fight ends only by a knockout. Jake's instructor on the other hand learns about him getting into a fight outside the gym. He gets really angry at him for breaking the most basic rule of the club, a rule to which Roqua makes no compromise, so he kicks him out right away. He makes it abundantly clear to Jake that he is not allowed to come back to his club. In the evening, when Jake is in the market, he runs into Roqua, and they talk about Jake's dad. He tells his instructor how his father died in a car accident, when he was driving while drunk. He explains how the other boys always pick on him, about not being able to save his father that night. Jake also tells him what happened at that party, and how he was beaten up by Ryan not once but twice. Roqua starts feeling bad for the boy and being empathetic with him, he welcomes him back to the club, and starts training him with even more determination. One day, when they are out jogging, Jake's instructor tells him about his family. Roqua tells that he had a younger brother, who was an excellent mixed martial artist. One day in a bar, a local bully mouthed off at young Joseph, who was about to fight the bully himself. His brother won the brawl, only to be shot and killed by the bully's friends. Roqua's father blames him for permitting the situation to escalate into violence, which could have been avoided. Roqua left home over that, and has not seen his father, or even set foot in Brazil, for the past seven years. He tells Jake that he does not know how to face his father, after letting him down in such a heartbreaking manner. One day, Jake's mother goes to his gym, and pays his fee for the next two months, this implies that she does not have a problem with him fighting anymore. Roqua also sees her, and tells her that she has got a good son. Elsewhere, Jake goes to see Baja, and apologizes for ignoring her. They express their feelings for each other and start a relationship. Max then receives a message on his mobile, and learns that the beatdown is a few days away. He makes his way to Jake, and informs him. Jake declines to enter the beatdown, seeing it as something Ryan wants. When Ryan discovers this turn of events, he invites Max to McCarthy Manor on false pretense. There, Ryan engages Max in a combat, and beats him brutally. Fearing for his friend's safety, Jake reverses his decision and enters the beatdown, only to face Ryan. Roqua hears of this as well and confronts Jake with an ultimatum, Jake will never be allowed near the gym again if he even goes to the beatdown, forget fighting in it. Realizing that Roqua is trying to prevent him from making the same mistake, which Roqua made with his own father, Jake answers that Roqua's only mistake was not doing what Jake himself is about to do. Said mistake wasn't brawling, it was evading the conflict at hand, rather than confronting and resolving it. Jake arrives at the tournament and both he and Ryan make their way through each round, each emerging victorious. Jake makes it to the semi-finals in spite of an injury he received in the previous match. Baja arrives to not only support him, but to tell him that she understands why he insists on fighting, so that he would never have to fight again. After learning that Ryan was disqualified in his semi-final match, due to an illegal eye gouge, Jake forfeits, seeing no reason to continue. While he and Baja attempt to leave, Ryan confronts him, and the two finally fight outside in the parking lot.
Jake ISY is still limited by his injury, and Ryan initially gains the upper hand, applying a choke on Jake. However, Jake escapes and knocks out Ryan, using one of the first combinations Roqua taught him. Jake is relieved, and Roqua goes to Brazil to finally see his dad, then the movie end.